I don't know this dude, but he is next on the list. He... Yeah, he's got a huge car. <laughs> Correct. Correct. All right, give it up for Aaron uh, Brazel, right? Brazel. Aaron Brazel. Give it up for Aaron Brazel. I usually hate to be positive about like inclusivity, so that's actually the state name, but it's all good. Uh, hello, Maxis. First time here. Woo! Uh, I just want to throw in one bit I had unplanned about the key bridge since it was brought up. Google Maps actually has it listed as temporarily closed. And I think that might be the understatement of the century. I'm not sure, but um, no, I, I, I want to talk about travel, right? Like I, I got into travel late in life and I have traveled across the planet. Um, back in 2019, actually, we have uh, one of our uh, uh, good Australian fellas here. <laughs> Bosses. That's good. It's Australian for beer. Uh, I, I went to Sydney in 2019 and uh, I, I was there for work. I was there for a month and uh, I had an Airbnb. The company paid for it. Great. Awesome. Uh, there was a, a bar that fashioned itself an American bar nearby, so I kind of made that my home base while I was there. That's, that's the gay bar. I remember that. Oh, the gay bar. Yeah. The gay bar? <laughs> And one day I was in there after work, and this guy says to me, uh, you're American, obviously. That's my accent? I don't know. Uh, I was like, yeah. He's like, where from? I said, Maryland. He's like, oh, I was just in Maryland. Where? Uh, well, he was like, I was just there for a destination wedding. I, you know me, I'm thinking like St. Michael's, Deep Creek Lake, something like that. Something like destination wedding. I was like, where? He said, like, Parkville. <laughs> Parkville? <laughs> Do we have a, the reception at Freddy's? <laughs> like, uh, uh, but, you know, I mean, like, I, I did love Australia. Uh, you know, I mean, everybody needs to see the Sydney Opera House and, uh, you know, take selfies and be around tourists that are at the Opera Bar drinking very expensive wine. Uh, but, you know, I did it. It's a life experience, right? Uh, one of my favorite things, though, is uh, in 2019, right before Australia, sorry, that was wrong. I was in London before Australia, but uh, in 2022, post pandemic time, um, <laughs> in 2022, I went to London. It was my first international trip after the pandemic, and I was like, okay, so this is a good time to like get back out there and travel again, like get those passport stamps, all that stuff, right? And I love international travel. But I have a problem. I somehow have a superhero power where uh, monarchs or state leaders or you know those types of people like end up not being there anymore. So in 2022, in the space of 10 days, there were three prime ministers and two monarchs. Queen of England died at that during my trip. It's amazing. Everybody's like, oh, we're just going to shut down because nobody's running the place anymore. Uh, so I go there, and uh, and so you had uh, you had Queen Elizabeth II, King Charles III, you had uh, uh, Boris Johnson as PM, then you had uh, whatever her name was that didn't last as long as a, a head of lettuce, and then Rishi Sunak. All within my period of time, I thought, okay, this is an interesting travel story. I should maybe think about this, but it's probably just a flip, right? Then. I went to Denmark in January, and the Queen of Denmark abdicated the throne. So I was like, okay, I'm on to something. I'm clearly going to have to book travel to Moscow, Tehran, Pyongyang, North Korea, soon to be Jerusalem, and, uh, and you know, I mean, who knows? comes up but uh anyways this is my time and i thank you very much for your time i may be positive have a good night